Berkshire Hathaway is what's known as a holding company and a holding company are different to your typical investment funds such as a index fund or a mutual fund for example and the main difference is is that a holding company aims to buy a controlling stake in the businesses that they invest in or to actually own and operate 100% of the business they purchase whereas a investment fund usually has a minority stake in the business and a more of a investment tool that are typically used to replicate market indexes. Now some businesses that Berkshire own in full are Geico Insurance, Duracell Incorporated, the battery company and Dairy Queen. But in this video let's look at the bottom 10 holdings which Berkshire Hathaway actually have a minority stake in and let's discuss how much money that they have invested into each company. So starting off with Berkshire's smallest position which is the 44th stock in their portfolio and it is United Parcel Services Incorporated who are listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol UPS. UPS is a supply chain and logistics company providing courier, freight and logistics services and they are headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. Berkshire owns 59,400 shares which has a market value of $12.7 million. Now for small time investors like me and you, $12.7 million is a hell of a lot of money. But to Warren Buffett, this amount didn't even move the scale as it makes up 0.00% of their portfolio. So you would actually need to add a few extra decimals if you wanted the exact percentage. In 2021, UPS's total annual revenue was $97 billion with a net profit of 12.5 billion. Berkshire's 43rd holding is Liberty Latin America Class C, which are listed on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol LILAK. Liberty Latin America is a telecommunications company that operates in over 20 countries across Latin America, but their headquarters is actually in Denver, Colorado. Berkshire owns over 1.2 million Class C shares, and that has a market value of $32.3 million, which again is too small to even move the scale as it makes up 0.00% of their total portfolio holdings. In 2021, LLA reported $4.8 billion in revenue, $81 million of operating income and $1.8 billion in adjusted operating income before depreciation and amortization. Berkshire's 42nd holding is Wells Fargo, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol WFC. Wells Fargo is an American multinational financial service company with corporate headquarters in San Francisco, California, operational headquarters in Manhattan, but they also have managerial offices throughout the United States and internationally. Berkshire owns over 675,000 shares which has a market value of $32.3 million which is enough to finally move the scale as it makes up 0.01% of their total portfolio holdings. In 2021 Wells Fargo's total annual revenue was over $81 billion with a net profit of $20 billion. Stock holding number 41 is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol VOO. This ETF invests in stocks that track the S&P 500 index. The S&P 500 represents 500 of the largest US companies and over the last 10 years this ETF saw a 13.6% compound annual return. So if you had invested $1,000 into this ETF 10 years ago, without investing another dollar, that $1,000 would have grown to $3,000 $1,867 inclusive of invested capital. So that's almost quadrupling your money. Berkshire owns 43,000 shares which has a market value of $18.7 million which again barely moves the scale as it makes up 0.01% of their total portfolio holdings. In 2021 this ETF granted a 1.5% dividend yield. Berkshire's 40th holding is the SPDR S&P 500 ETF ticker symbol SPY which is another ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index. Berkshire owns 39,400 shares which has a market value of over $18.7 million making up 0.01% of their portfolio. Now as you would expect the compounded annual return for this ETF is almost identical to the last ETF as it saw a 13.5% compound annual return over 10 years and in 2021 it granted a 1.5% dividend yield. The 39th stock in their portfolio is Mondelez International 
which is listed on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol MDLZ. They are headquartered in Chicago, Illinois, and Mondelez International is one of the largest snack companies in the world with iconic global brands such as Oreo, Belvedere, Cadbury, Dairy Milk, and Toblerone Chocolate. Berkshire owns 578,000 Class A shares, which has a market value of over $38 million, making up 0.01% of their total portfolio. In 2021, Mondelez International's annual revenue was over $29 billion, with a net profit of $4.3 billion. Berkshire's 38th holding is Liberty Latin America Class A, which is listed on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol LILA. As mentioned earlier, Liberty Latin America is a telecommunications company operating across Latin America. The company offers video, broadband, internet, telephone, and mobile services. Berkshire owns over 2.6 million Class A shares, which has a market value of over $51.5 million, making up 0.01% of their portfolio. In 2021, LLA reported $4.8 billion in annual revenue, $81 billion of operating income, and $1.8 billion in adjusted OIBDA. Berkshire's 37th holding is Procter & Gamble, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol PG. Headquartered in Cincinnati, Ohio, Procter & Gamble is a multinational consumer goods corporation specializing in a wide range of personal healthcare and hygiene products. Their subsidiaries include Gillette, Olay, Oral-B, and a list of many more well-known brands. Berkshire owns around 315,000 shares, which has a market value of over $51.5 million dollars making up 0.02 percent of their portfolio in 2021 procter and gamble's global net sales amounted to 76.1 billion dollars with a net profit of 14.3 billion berkshire's 36 holding is marsh mclennan which is listed on the new york stock exchange under the ticker symbol mmc headquartered in new york city marsh mclennan is a global professional services firm with businesses in insurance risk management reinsurance service talent management, investment advisory, and management consulting. Berkshire owns over 404,000 shares, which has a market value of $70.3 million, and that makes up 0.02% of their portfolio. In 2021, Marsh McLennan's total annual revenue was $19.8 billion, with a net profit of $3.1 billion. Berkshire's 35th holding is Johnson & Johnson, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol JNJ. Johnson & Johnson is a multinational corporation that develops medical devices, pharmaceuticals, and consumer packaged goods, and they are headquartered in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Berkshire owns over 327,000 shares, which has a market value of $55.9 million, making up 0.02% of their total portfolio. In 2021, Johnson & Johnson's total annual revenue was $93.7 billion, with a net profit of over $20 billion. Berkshire's 34th holding is Floor & and Decor Holdings, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol FND. Headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, Floor & Decor is a multi-channel American specialty retailer of hard-surfaced flooring and other related accessories. Berkshire owns over 843,000 shares, which has a market value of over a billion dollars, making up 0.03% of their total portfolio, so moving the needle an extra 0.01%. In 2021, Floor & Decor's total total annual revenue was $3.4 billion with a net profit of $283 million. For more videos on all things investing, subscribe to this channel.